35-year-old Saturo Takegaki does not act or sound like a man who used to earn a living carrying a gun. For 34 years, it was his job to protect the leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi family. It's the largest in a huge network of organized crime gangs. He left the Yakuza 11 years ago and now helps other members to leave. He founded a non-profit organization, works with family members, and exchanges letters with prisoners in jail. I thought that since I left the Yakuza life, I should contribute to society. I could talk about negative sides of being a Yakuza and bring back members into the normal world. Takayuki Ueyama is a former member, but reintegration takes more than simply deciding to leave. It's about being accepted. And that meant covering up the Yamaguchi Gumi insignia he had tattooed on his chest. I felt that my connection to the Yamaguchi Gumi was completely severed. When I blacked it out, I felt I could finally take a step in the right direction. Once some of the Yakuza members leave, they have to worry about a physical reminder that can't be covered up by clothes. As part of an apology or penance ceremony, they chop off the tip of their pinky finger. But some prosthetic clinics like this are helping them disguise their criminal past. The small clinic outside Tokyo is run by Hironori Hiraoka. He says about 10% of his patients are former Yakuza members. I don't ask them about their past. I focus on why they want the prosthetic. Mostly the reasons are positive, for weddings or ceremonies for their sons and daughters, out of love for them. The prosthetics also help them find jobs and get on with their lives. The Botsui Center works to eliminate criminal gangs. We're not naming this representative or showing his face for safety. When we and the police provide support, we'll tell them to let the potential employees know. They must find a place that is willing to accept their past. Though the numbers of Yakuza members are decreasing, there are still about 80,000 in Japan. And Satoru Takegaki hopes to reach out to more of them by opening up offices in the cities where the Yakuza still operate. So he can help them refocus their lives with more peaceful pursuits. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.